Hello, welcome to Idikai Mary's Ministries Television. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't worry, sometimes you see me when I come on and I start laughing. Uh, something happened to me oh, a while back, and that is this. I got drunk with joy. God baptized me, dipped me in the fellowship of joy. And I can't stop laughing and smiling. I take things easy. Things that people break their heads over. Doesn't mean anything to me. I take what he takes serious, serious. I take what he takes light, lightly. Now, in talking to you today about expect good things today with God. Hallelujah. I want to share with you something that the Lord brought to my to my mind, to my spirit to share with you. And it is in a sum in, in form of equation. You see, when you begin to enter into the presence of God and begin to stay there and begin to be with Him, He begins to make you, He activates you and you become aware of your surrounding, of what is happening in your environment, of what is happening inside you, of who you really are or supposed to be. Hallelujah. Think about that. And the question I want to ask you today is this. Are you giving away your right and your power as a parent? Are you giving away your rights and your powers as parents? You start asking yourself, oh, has it got anything to do with the social services coming to take our rights away as parents of our kids? That's not what I mean. I'll share two experiences I've had with you. Number one, I was in California a while back and I experienced something that completely distressed me so greatly. One was a young girl with her boyfriend. And this young girl has learned the art of manipulating the parents. The parents were going through a very difficult marriage. Both of the parents were like child. And they were fighting each other. The mom was driving the Mercedes Benz. The man was involved in his business. Mom. You know what happened? Sooner or later, they were doing so much fighting against each other that they forgot their job, their God-given assignments to be a parent to that young girl. And that young girl became a parent for herself. In fact, she became a parent to her mom and to her dad. I saw it. It distressed me and it freaked me out. Sooner or later, that girl began. I saw it. When she goes to the father, she tells every lies she knows against the mom and get something from the father, get money, get goods. When she turns around and goes to the mom, she tells all the lies in the world about the father to the mom and get something from the mom. So she has learned how to be in the middle and become the parent, became the sole arbiter of the good things in the marriage and sabotage even the, the smallest reason, the smallest exercise of blessing that will have brought the parent together again she sabotaged it. I saw it and I wept bitterly. God. And a lot of kids have learned how to become parents to their parents and learn the art of deception and manipulation. And whom did they learn it from? From the deception from their dad and from the manipulation from their mom. 
from the manipulation from their dad and from the deception from their mom. They've learned it. And they are using it against them. If the mom ever talks about getting together with them, she opposed it. And when she goes to the father, she lies about it. Same thing with the father. Same thing with the mother. My second experience was somewhere in America also. And this family was so dysfunctional, it was unreal. The father and the mom were busy fighting each other for nothing. Two leaders fighting for who is to be led or who is to follow. Instead of them simply knowing the man is the ruler, the woman is the leader. And they fought themselves. The mom was so busy trying to make the kids be on her side. Because that's exactly what happened. And what happened? The father discovered he was just alone. He moved out. And the kids all sided with the mom. Against the father. Their very father. They only needed him for money. And that's it. And what was the end result for the mom? She became the child. And the kids became the parent. Because when you begin to go to your kids. To talk to them. What does not concern them. To go and talk to them. Senior talk. To go and share. Things you shouldn't share with them. You become the child. And they treated her like a child. Up till today. They own her. Yeah, they own her. They decide who comes into her life and who doesn't. So her happiness is in jeopardy. She is not herself. The kids can dishonor, disgrace, disrespect as they want. They can do whatever the heck they want. That's the price she paid. And she's paying. And the father knew that he wasn't even wanted. And he stays away anywhere. Hallelujah. That's a sad story. What is it you're doing that makes you to be giving away your right and your powers as parent? As you go to the presence of God, God will make you to know. And to be aware of this. When you begin to talk and accuse each other openly before the kids. You're giving away your right and your powers. When your kids see the way you rush. To go to the loan companies. They see the way that you don't even think about your credit. Doesn't mean anything. Going to jail and prison doesn't mean anything. It's one of those things. That's how American kids are supposed to be matured is by going to jail and prison. Sad and sick. And what's the outcome of it? You become the child. Because quickly they learn the art of manipulation and deception from you. And you know the price you pay? Never be respected, never be honored, and never loved. You are only needed for what they can get out of you. And the Almighty is talking to some parent now. You rather weep when you hear this kind of words. Eternal Father, minister to the lives of parents. Begin the healing, the reconciliation, the redemption, the restoration. Begin to recreate and restore them to their roles. In Jesus' name. Amen. If this message has touched you, I want you to know that you are in our prayers. Call us. We will pray with you and minister to you. 
425-409-0473. Go to Facebook, you will see us there. Idikai Mary's Ministries Television. Or Idikai Mary. Follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, MySpace, wherever. Blogger, your news feed, we are there. God bless you till I see you again. Bye-bye.